For more than 40 years, Voyager 2 has been moving slowly away from the sun, drifting deeper into the dark spaces where light becomes rare and warmth becomes only a memory. It has passed the giant planets, slipped beyond the Kuiper belt, and entered areas once believed to exist only in theories and models. This small probe, built in the late 1970s, was created with computers far weaker than the simplest phones people carry today, yet it continues to survive in ways no one expected. Voyager 2 was supposed to fall quiet long ago. Its power was expected to fade, its instruments to freeze, and its signal to vanish into the silence between stars. But instead, it keeps talking to us, sending faint whispers across unimaginable distances. And recently, those whispers carried something new, something that made scientists stop their work and rethink old ideas. Voyager 2 had reached a place no spacecraft had ever entered in this way, and the data it sent back revealed a truth that many feared but rarely discussed. The edge of our solar system is not soft or slow. It is sharp, almost like a wall. This boundary is called the heliopause, the point where the sun's protective influence ends and the interstellar medium begins. For years, scientists imagined this boundary as a gentle fading, with solar wind slowly thinning until it blended with the galaxy beyond. But Voyager 2 proved that idea wrong in a single moment. When the spacecraft crossed the heliopause, the change was sudden and harsh. The instruments detected a rapid jump in cosmic radiation, with increases of more than 70%. Plasma density rose sharply, and the magnetic field twisted into a new, unfamiliar pattern. It felt as if Voyager had stepped from one world to another, entering a space shaped by forces that do not care about human expectations. This discovery stunned scientists. The heliosphere, once an idea drawn in textbooks, revealed itself to be a real shield, a protective bubble around our solar system. Inside this bubble, the violent energies of the galaxy are softened by the sun's constant flow of particles. Outside it, those energies are raw and intense. Voyager 2 was no longer traveling through calm emptiness. It was entering a storm. Even more surprising was that this boundary is not fixed. It breathes, expanding and shrinking with the sun's 11-year activity cycle. When the sun becomes active, the heliosphere stretches outward. When the sun quiets down, the shield weakens and pulls inward. This bubble is not a perfect sphere either. It is shaped and squeezed by the interstellar medium around it forming a long tail that trails behind the solar system like a comet. This means our protection is not steady. It changes with time and solar mood, making Earth more vulnerable during weak cycles. Scientists realized our cosmic shield is far more delicate than they once hoped. In 2019, Voyager 2 gave researchers another shock. After decades of steady communication, it suddenly went silent. No data, no response, nothing. Engineers feared that the probe had finally failed. Hours passed with no signal, and then, without warning, it came back online. The official explanation pointed to old hardware and software issues, but some internal notes mentioned strange anomalies before the blackout. They described spikes in electromagnetic activity and odd magnetic field shifts. Some experts suggested Voyager 2 had passed through a pocket of energized plasma, maybe the echo of a distant supernova. Others wondered if it encountered something we had not yet imagined, a layer of space with properties outside our models. If so, the probe didn't fail. It reacted. As Voyager continued deeper into interstellar space, it recorded signs that the galaxy is not a quiet void. It behaves like a restless ocean, with waves of particles, bursts of radiation, and shifting magnetic fields. These patterns sometimes matched known cosmic events and other times came without any clear cause. For the first time, we had direct evidence of space weather beyond the sun's reach. Then came the most surprising find of all. 
Scientists expected the sun's magnetic field to fight against the galaxy's magnetic field at the boundary. Instead, Voyager found them nearly aligned, almost synchronized. This was unexpected and confusing. Either the sun's influence had shaped the local galactic field, or our solar system was born in a region already in harmony with it. Both ideas carry huge implications. Some experts began whispering a new idea. What if the heliopause is not just a boundary? What if it acts like a natural checkpoint, reacting to anything that passes through it? If true, Voyager the 2nd of May not have simply crossed the line. It may have announced itself. And that becomes more haunting when you remember what Voyager carries. The Golden Record A message from Earth filled with sounds, music, greetings, and a map pointing directly back to us. For years it was seen as a symbol of hope. But if the heliopause reacts, then sending a map through it may have been something very different. Maybe it was an invitation. Or maybe it was a risk. Still, Voyager 2 moves onward, deeper into the unknown, carrying the voice of Earth across a boundary we barely understand. It has shown us that the galaxy beyond is active, unpredictable, and closer than we imagined. And now a question lingers softly in the dark. Is Voyager still only an explorer, or has it become a signal? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.